I suspect that it's going to be really hard to harden the name pipe system to avoid attackers to use it for Feng Shui primitives and that if they want to avoid this kind of technique, it will be more based off the changes to the heaps themselves. So like replacing the pool algorithm that we see on Windows 10, 18, 09 with something like the low fragmentation heap, also known as LFH, because it is specifically designed to be like actual pool where lots of chunks of the same type are all stored together. I believe it has delayed free, but it also has things like a random allocation order so you can't predict the order in which things are allocated and what adjacency we will have and stuff. It is specifically meant to just hinder this type of predictable layout. So I suspect they will favor that kind of thing because if they just target the name pipe stuff, there will probably be something else. And so Microsoft prefer to have a more broad mitigation than targeting specific components because traditionally, that's what Microsoft did. And then people would just have other techniques that are zero day techniques. And then they would just use them as soon as the one trick is patched. For instance, in the browser, that's what the browser's company did. Like they used dedicated pools for different objects. The array objects were used a lot by browsers exploiters to actually replace previous objects with data you control. Because in an array, you can just put any byte value to any position. And in Flash as well, attackers would typically use the vectors for the same purpose. So to avoid that, the software companies basically dedicate specific pools for these objects that are like the magical object that allow you to control all the data. And so if you have a user to free, you would not be able to replace your object with this magical powerful primitive anymore because they are on other heaps and so they can't be used anymore. So that's definitely going to be the way to go to avoid techniques such as using the name pipes for Feng Shui.